Hey guys, welcome back to some more L.A. Noir. Um, I don't even know what part we're on. I think we're on part eight. Let's resume. And uh, yeah, it is not getting any better with these gruesome kills. Anyway, the white shoe slaying. Ho ho ho, as Santa would say. Transit lines. Of course, it's a woman again. And that is creepy as shit. Shit for no, no one for being creepy. This guy's so fucking scary. He's so scary. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. It's we pouring have rain. for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. Yeah, a boy. nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Reptile. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. All right, let's do it. Na -na 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 -na. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Nope. Now, boys, we all know how and many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Gonna marry in England. All right, let's just go down. If you were twice as smart, you'd still be safe. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Oh, excuse me, I just burped. I apologize. Yeah, it is pouring rain. Yeah, what a wonderful Sunny morning. Sunny California. When's it going to stop? All right, bud. Get in the freaking car. Where is he? There he is. Fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep climbing. Oh, no. Yeah, California's love affair, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up in San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to say. That's true. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man, folks. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Oh, nice. I'm too good at drifting. That will lead us up. All right. I don't even drive it anymore. Did you follow this guy? Oh, okay. Holy speedy, settle down. I'm stealing myself from what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body. Here. Used to seeing him. Yeah, but they're so gruesome. They're so gross. Like, ugh. I don't know. Like, I know it's a video game, but, like, man, oh, man. These last couple ones are pretty bad, and I, it's not getting any better. Detectives, Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door-to-door, -door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. And now stop raining. This I just realized that. Familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Shit. Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Fuck. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Yeah, I was going to say, it was raining. Injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she's on naked. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. Yeah, no Green shit. silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. What the fuck? All right, holy shit. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. 
That is pretty fucked up. Alright, let's go to the ring. Ring hand? Nothing, no ring. Sweet. Nothing. Alright. Nothing down. Sweet. Oh, don't mind me. Oh, shit. I'm mashing A. There you go. No drag marks. Killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple beer piles getting wasted. Doesn't give me anything to go on. All right. Hmm. Oh, and there's the tire tracks. There we go. He's ripped out of there right after. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. That's right. Okay, we found everything. What's this? Money. As soon as I try to answer the phone. Alright, go make a call. Who the fuck is that? I just want to make a phone call. Who is this bitch? That's my daughter. Probably. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. Oh, it's her this neighbor. She has something for us. Maybe it's her neighbor. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. All right, suspicious persons. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Okay, I don't know why she'd lie about that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with truth. Do you have a description? Thank you. Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Okay. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Nice. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, miss. Oh. Oh, God. All right, use the phone now. Like I was supposed to. Stay. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Superior. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, one two six zero West First Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Yes, hobo camps. Just a moment, detective. She sounds so pissed off. Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under <laughs> the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Mm, thank you. What is that? Oh, it's just bullshit. Okay, let's go back there, Galloway. Mm. Oh, look, he's already waiting in the car. Look at him. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go to the laundry services. That's the one thing I don't understand about this game. There's no like there's waypoints, but there's no uh, no message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? The From the pit. The last bodies had something written on them. You know what I mean? There's no like, Oh, take this way. Go this way. It's really just like here's a flag giver. Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? Good. Calling all cars. Incident reports. Officer needs help. Shots fired. Officer down. 6th Street and Lindley Place. 6th Street and Lindley Place. You have to have on code 3. Identify. I know I'm going to jinx this, but so far I haven't really hit anything. <laughs> Even my driving got better, it only took seven parts. My drifting's impeccable! Superior laundry. Why is your laundry superior? Are you selling laundry? What are you doing? 
At least the rain stopped. It stopped over it stopped. Into those white bucks now. It stopped before too. You're crazy. Alright. Anything we need in here? Hello, sir. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case and one of your laundry labels came up. F1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. What happened? This guy's getting split. No? Alright, what a nice guy. He's a good guy. Nice vest. Take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. Oh, you're a dick. What was the number down on that dress? Is it there? F1, what was it again? F1363? I think that's what it was, right? Ah, uh, my memory is just awful. I apologize. Label. F1363. Okay, F1363. Mrs. T. Terrellson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. Alright, thanks, bud. Alright, let's go let's go see ourselves a hobo camp, eh? Hobo! Oh, I should steal the bus! <laughs> I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Yeah, the hobo! I guess we ought. To. I guess we ought. The hobo. No, no, no. Oh, I'm so good at driving. Oh shit! Yeah, so much for. Uh, oh there. So much for. Hey, I'm not hitting anything. Yeah, there goes that idea. Yeah, sure, let's go this way. Oh, nailed it! Oh, what the fuck? Are you going through that way? I can't go that way. How the fuck am I supposed to get over there? How in the world am I supposed to get over there? This is ridiculous. I have no idea how to get over there. All right, let's go this way. Heads up! Oh! Down. Call the police! I am the police. Almost there now. Almost there now. That's no way to drive. Sorry, bud. Oh, there we go. That worked. <laughs> I'll wait to be on the bridge. Whoopsies! Didn't know that. God. Where's my wife? We're looking for a tall man with a disfigured face. You know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, the bum isn't here. Look at these people. We should follow the only These guys can win. You're fucking crazy, buddy. It's like, alright, calm down. It's alright. Oh, he just left. It's probably him. Oh, not clues, not clues, locations. Emerald Street. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. No. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Yeah, no Nordic shit, buddy. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. Alright, shit, Ralph. Oh, excuse me, I keep burping. I don't know what it is. Oh! God! Watch where you're driving, you maniac! You maniac? 
Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, that was really damn close. Excuse me. Oh, God! <laughs> That's right, you stop. You wait for me. As I said multiple times, I am the law. I get the point. I get the point. Yeah, you should get the point. There we go. Oh, what's happening? Oh, we're loading stuff. Ba -da 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 -da. Wow, this looks weird. Oh, he's got a boat! That's bad, because it's the triple braided rope and shit, right? Oh my gosh, there's kids! Oh, really, Galloway? You gotta knock the broom over before you can get going, you dink. Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. Oh, God. Those girls look like they had beards. Hands, Mr. But we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... It's procedure. Yeah, calm down, buddy. You see to your girls. So why would you act so suspicious if you didn't do it? They don't give a shit. Mommy's done? Okay. Time Stay to here eat. Till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be alright, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. Yeah. You got nothing to hide. Uh, you wanna hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. Yeah, no shit. I guess I should use the phone? Because it wants me to? We need to check if she was a regular. What, is it, what would that matter? Uh, where is the phone? I actually have no idea where it is. Oh, there it is right there. No, no, don't talk, don't talk. Whew. Operator, give me R and I. Putting it through? No. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? Oh my gosh, these conversations have to go faster. Bobby Ross, then Please. send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Oh, let's go far around. This is the children's bedroom. There is a box. Temptation's chocolate. Optimistic hole. Temptation? I'm assuming it's chocolate. Oh, what's the book? Nursery rhymes. No. Doesn't tell me anything. That's kind of cool. Uh, what is this? Drawings? Nice drawings. Whatever. Hello, girls. If you'd excuse me, ladies. Ladies. What's that on the table? Oh, shit. Circumstantial. Alright. I mean, it's a note, but okay. Circumstantial, I guess. Whatever. Oh, it's, a, it's the handbag! So she went out without her handbag? I don't think that's what happened at all. At least she was spared that particular indignity. What does that mean? 
I don't, I don't know what that means. Do I have to keep doing it or what? I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it just keeps telling me to push A. Whatever. Fuck you. Go on to the next one. On to the next one. You should have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Yeah, no shit. This is what I think happened. I think the husband hired the hobo. Oh shit! Or maybe he did it. We could see if Pinker can match the impression to the crime scene. Sweet. What about this shirt? Oh, drenched in water. Lars was out in the rain last night. Nice. Boys, I think we got him. He was the driver for the hobo. The hobo killed him. Yeah, that's what happened. The hobo killed, and the guy drove. Yeah, let's check the boat for the rope. Yeah, and it was cut. Like a match with the ligature marks. Oh shit! I think we got him, boys. Oh yeah. You're screwed. Hey, buddy. For the record, Mr. Charlton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Possible suspects. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. I'm gonna tuition. Because I don't know. Fuck you. Everybody loved her, he said, right? So, time of death doesn't matter. Boot prints doesn't matter. Tire tracks doesn't matter. Big time, 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 she said she was bored and decided to leave. You let your you. wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin and calls me. I go and bring her home. Huh. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. God damn it. Spill it, Terrelson. Yeah. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. Whoa. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. Last contact. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and... Went to bed. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? Because your jacket's covered in rain. Water. <laughs> you were out in the rain. Boom. We got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <sighs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charlton. Fuck, you'll we'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to broads, you'll be giving in to them your entire life. Sounds like the Terrelson broad had her last drink at Baron's Bar. We should check the Appreciate place out. Appreciate your time, sir. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe he didn't do it. 
Maybe the hobo. I don't know. Oh, guys, I'm so. Oh, God. I don't know. Nice. Excuse me. Singing and dancing. Screw you. Nice. Dun dun dun, boys. Dun dun. Baron's bar, or bar barons, as they call it. Cool. Running. Sweet. Gents, drink. What's going on, brother? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. It's about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Last contact with the victim. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around, uh... 10.30, I think. We don't have time Damn it. for you to be making guesses. What time was it exactly? Hey, give me a break. I don't remember it to the second. Fuck. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. The likelihood yeah. is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Betty. You're all right, Benny. two creeps were all over her, promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Fuck that guy. Thank you for your help, Mr. Clough. We'll take it from here. Yeah. Hey, no problem. Hey, uh, no problem. This is Bates. Oh, he just looks like a piece That's of shit. Him. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. Yeah, yeah, shitbird. Can't let the son of a bitch get away. I hate this part. Bates, That's just want to talk. Who hit him? Ah, oh, really? Can you put my gun? Can I get in your car, bud? Fuck. Oh, wow. Well, I just lost. Because I didn't know we were supposed to get in the car. Galloway! Please! He's frozen! No time to wait, Rusty! Are you fucking kidding me? If he's the killer and he gets away... Fuck you. Whoa! I don't know where I'm going! Nailed it! Oh wow, I can't go through a fucking fence. Give me a break. He's right here! Ah! Fucking Rusty! You piece of shit, I was waiting on you! God damn it, get after him, Cole! Yeah, hey, you fucker. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's caught. Oh shit! Don't go to sleep on me. Give me back in close. Fuck off. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Oh, what's the gas station? Oh, God. Shoot us tires! Shoot him! Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Fuck. Let's end this bar. Get out of the way, bud. Shoot his fucking tires out, buddy. I'll try to bust his tires. Oh, this guy's mine if I can speed up. Fuck you, buddy. All right, all right, you got me. That's right, bitch. Give it up. Okay. LAPD. Okay, Bates. You're gonna answer some questions. I have a choice in this. <laughs> no. You fucking piece of shit. You just you, you even look like a 
piece of garbage. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? I don't know if he's telling the truth. You sure you and the sailor didn't take her somewhere and things got out of hand? Even cops need evidence. You got nothing on me that links me to that woman. Nice teeth, bud. Uh, I really actually have nothing. No! No! I pushed B! I no, I didn't. Are we done? Uh, I didn't do that. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Oh. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. You're coming in with us, Bates. But I'm not your guy. What exactly am I being run in for? You have a record. You ran from us. And there's the fact that I don't like you. <laughs> three strikes in my book. Get fucked, bruh. Take him to Central. There's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard cozy. here knows the drill. <laughs> Alright. Across the street. Ah! Ah! Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Any messages for me? Just a second. I have to pee have so bad. From Lieutenant Fleischer. <laughs> Bartender Benny Clough reports victim Teresa Terrelson last seen entering the yellow cab number 3591. Can you have an APB put out on that vehicle? We'll need all okay, sightings. I'm going to take a piss. I'll be detective. back. Sure, Detective. I'll radio dispatch now. Are there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Baudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thanks for your help. Am I gonna edit that out? Uh, nope. <laughs> All right, give me a car. Hey, hey, shh, hey, shh, 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 shh. hey, shh. Shh, 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 Oh, wow. Laws on 7th Street. Let's hit it. Uh, cab driver might tie this whole thing with it. I hope you're right. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Just gets out. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, and if, you're, and if you're wondering, my pee was... If, it felt good. It was, it was wonderful. Oh, what the? 11K, yellow cab number 3591, sighted at the corner of Wilshire and Whitmer. Repeat, Wilshire and Whitmer, 11K. That's why I was just there. Oh, that was sick. Where's that cab? Ba -ba -ba -da -da -ba 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 oh, yeah. 11K, further on your ATV on yellow cab number 3591. We're, we're going for it. Oh, you're a dick. Fuck, he's gonna get away. No! Easy. Easy. Oh my god. Peace out. Ripping out. Oh, wow. 
You see our taxi anywhere? No, I don't. Oh shit! Yellow cab, three, five, nine, one. Sighted at sixth and Valencia. Can I go this way? Nope, can't go that way. This car sucks. Oh, crossing! Oh! Okay. Nice, I found a landmark. Don't care. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Oh, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him right here. What the fuck? Where is it? Right in the middle of the fucking street. Where is it? Call 11K. Oh! Three five nine one was just seen leaving Dewey's car sales, driving north on Union Drive. KGPL. Three five nine one. That's him there, Phelps. Hit the siren. Got him. LAPD. We're investigating a murder. What's that got to do with me? <laughs> the fair you picked up from Baron's bar last night. What was the woman wearing? It's a green dress. Oh, don't tell me something's happened to her. Tell me about her. She was with this sailor, and he was all over her. She wasn't having any of it. Said she just wanted to dance. But he had that look in his eye. Where did you drop them off? It's at the Crystal Ballroom. What time? Uh, after midnight. 12.30? Something like that. Thanks. You've been a big help. Well, that's going to ruin my day. <laughs> what a what a decent guy. Right on. Any sentry unit possible 415 at Alvera Street Plaza unit to handle code 3 identified. Oh, wait. So now we're going to go to locations. And now we're going to go to the police station, I guess. I'm so confused by this uh, whole investigation now. Such confused. Such. Excuse me, sir. Madam. Oh, wow. Ripping down the road, rubbing on the road, ripping down a, ripping down the road. My car just sounds broken. Come on, you crazy. Thread the needle. Oh, nope. Oh, my car's dead. Hey, 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 hey. Give me that. LAPD, police emergency. Yeah, get out. Careful with it, copper. Camper. Oh, yeah, convertible. Excuse me. I'll be careful with it, all right? Am I careful? I mean, I'll destroy it. Oh no! I didn't want to go that way. I was kidding. I must destroy it. I'll get out of the way. No! Fuck! This car's hard to drive. Holy shit! Woo. Open to the tunnel. Oh, hey! Can't see it's too dark there, boy. Gotta go to the nut and bolt. Oh shit! Oh shit! Get the fuck out of the way. We survived way. this. It's going to be a miracle. If you want to oh. how to wipe your ass, you let me know. <laughs> you want to search how to wipe your ass. That's hilarious. That's funny. Funny as shit. All right, let's go in there and talk to people. He's in an interview, too. All right. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Oh, shit. Okay, so he's in two, he said, right? So where is number two? Interview room two is this way. Oh, there's a sailor right there. 
Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup, so it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. All right, contact with the victim. You went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. Okay, I know it's not telling the truth. So it's either a lie or it's doubt. But I want to make sure I have the evidence so I don't pick the wrong one. So victim's movement. Driver testifies dropping Teresa and companion off at Crystal Bar. Okay, that's whatever. Uh, I'm gonna doubt. So you tried to make and a I nailed woman it. who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her Oops. dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the crystal ballroom. Nice. Incident with Bates. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. He's pointing the finger nice. directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. Yeah, you piece of shit. Where did you go after the crystal ballroom? Well, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab and I caught a bus back to the base. Uh We spoke nice. to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the crystal ballroom. I'd had enough. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She she looked old. Left around closing, maybe 1.30. Got on a bus and she fell asleep on my shoulder. Which bus? An all-American. 249. I went past her place. She jumped off and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. The Indiana's down there. She's being scrapped. And that was the last you saw of Teresa? Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. Yeah. The cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's not how I'd put it. Tell the truth, Jessup. You were running out of time. You wanted to get laid, and Teresa wouldn't come across. It made you crazy, so you strangled her with a piece of rope. For Christ's sake, that's not true. Why is it jumping to that? I'm sorry for her. What proof do you have that I strangled her? What the fuck? Yeah, what proof do I have that I strangled her? Like... What the fuck? Why would I jump to that? Like I made a mistake. Yeah, I did. All right. Uh, okay, let's see what she said. Um, so the cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's not how I put it. Tell the truth, just if you're running out of time. Okay, that's fine. So that's what she said. That's not how I put it. So let's go to the notebook. Uh, Victor's boots. Okay, that's whatever. I guess doubt. So the nice. last thing you wanted was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah, it did. She knew what a guy's looking for, all broads do. Dancing comes second. And wow, what happened dickhead. at the crystal ballroom? Nothing. Not even a little hand relief. She had another couple of drinks, there was no fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. Nice! We're you we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. <laughs> Yeah. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. So, this sailor guy lied right about now, everything. Drive all the way to San Pedro and check his locker. Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. Okay. Holy shit, this is a big case there, guys. 
Holy shit. Um, let's go to the hobo camp, I guess. Three suspects in the can and one on the hook. Still Excuse no me. Hard evidence on any of them. Oh, oh. Slow and steady, come on. Yeah, that's right. Turn around. You jerk. Drift, 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 drift. Oh god. Breathe. These tires look like they're made out of balloons. Breathe. Breathe. Now where the fuck do I go? He's gonna be under the bridge now. God. Oh. Alright, that works. That works. I have... Galloway has a shotgun. He has a shotgun. Great. Oh, this piece of shit. Well, he even knows it's for him, too. Oh, shit. We'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. I need you to stay set We need to hold out for the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. Oh, oh shit! If you want your rightful share, we need to fight He's for it. Oh. What do you think? You fuck, bro. Boom. Oh! What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. Stalin. Find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. All right. That's a little creepy. Okay. Yeah. Let's look in his house. Quotation house. The Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Okay, we'll look at that after. That's the newspaper thing above. And well, well, well. Oh. Looks familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrellson's chin. No oh, shit. Fucking rights. Put it back in perfect form. Her coin purse. TT. Oh yeah, this is definitely hers. Ackerman doesn't look like much of a dancer. Yeah, he definitely took over shit. He killed her. My God. This is when he was in the army. Seems irrelevant. So. Cool. Let's do this guy. Missing morphine. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Benson, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine, too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them, that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors. But they've been moving it on to addicts, and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. 
So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? Yeah, Courtney. This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. Is that what you did in the war? Oh my god, he's a wizard, Harry. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. For God's sake, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained, Jack. Who wants to kill them? I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Only five. Cool, so I think I found all the clues. Let's go back to the car. Shut up. There we go. Alright, Galawaya. Let's go back to the bus depot. husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession and we can charge the bum with murder. Double. Oh, excuse me. Oh! Gently. Gently, now, gently. Gently, now. Excuse me. Holy, how far is this place? Better be right beside the police station, because man, this sucks. Coming down full speed. Oh god, I can't see. Okay, there we go. Damn. Get on, get going, get going. Thank you. There we go, there's the bus depot. Oh! <laughs> it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it looks like it's freaking 3 o'clock in the morning. It looks so dark. What was the bus number? Four, was it 359 or 449 or 494 or some shit? I don't remember. Right, let's see this guy. Oh, where the fuck am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go inside? Alright, let's go inside. Oh, alright, that worked. And um, thank you, ma'am. You have a safe trip now. And you're frightening. Where are you boys headed today? LAPD. We're after the driver of All American 249. 249. Would have been around midnight onwards last night. Uh, just a minute. Did you even do Frank anything? Zeparelli. He's your man. Where can we find him? Frank is out on the 7-4. Can you tell us the route? Hang on. Uh, I should have it mapped out here somewhere. My god. I saved the whole year for that car. <laughs> All right. That's oh, the bus we're looking wow. for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. Are you liquored up? Wow, this is going to be a pain in the ass to find. No, we're not going to drive the whole thing, are we? Yup. Won't take long. We have a siren. No, we don't. Can I take this bus? No, I can't. Oh, there's a red car. Oh my god, there's a waypoint. When I was just complaining about it, now it actually shows up. Come on! 
All American 7-4. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. I have a horn, that's about it. Uh, this could be a long trip, Cole. It's right there! It could be a short one. And here's me without my hip flask and only a pain in the ass for... That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. No. Nice, I got in front of him and it worked just as well. Yeah. Is some kind of problem, buddy? Yeah, there is. LAPD, we're investigating a murder. You had a sailor and a woman in a green dress on your bus late last night? That's correct. And the woman got off first, around 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's right. And the sailor stayed on all the way to downtown. Can you tell us where you let the woman off? On California Street. To tell you the truth, she looked a little lost, like she got off on the wrong stop or something. I didn't like dropping her off near that hobo camp. You've been a big help, Mr. Zeffirelli. Whoa, he just like... So Sailor Boy escaped by the seat of his bell-bottom trousers and left the broad alive. Left yeah. her by the hobo camp. Yeah. Which means he's as good as killed her. We can't eliminate any of them, but the disfigured man should be our starting point. I'm gonna call for some backup. These both hate cops. Excuse me. Just go easy, Phelps. Just go easy, Phelps. It's like, all right, Galloway, settle her down. All right. Settle, settle her down. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Nope. No, you silly goose. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, thank you. Well, when I honk, you just get out of the way. This is awesome. I just hold my trigger and the. Whoa! Oh shit! <laughs> You're gonna kill us, man! <laughs> Sweet. Let's go! We're going this way. Where is this? Okay. I guess I will follow you, sir. Oh, okay. What? You say we're going this way and then you stop? Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? <laughs> just, just... You're being reasonable, I guess. Motive. Why did you kill Mrs. Terrellson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. No recollection of the people he's killed. Oh my god, I hate these! So if I say lie, what's he gonna say? Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. Well, I have the rope. Um, I'm not saying rope piece. We found a matching so piece I of win. rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? Oh, you're a dickhead. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrellson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly yeah. insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Wow, you're nuts. Their necks are so fragile. Whoa! Where were you around 2 a.m. last night? At the camp. Well, it's either doubt or it's uh, a lie. So, I'm gonna have to go... What's victim? What's this? Oh, okay. So if I say lie, what does he say? You were up on the hill. You were seen during the day. We have a witness. We have evidence. Come clean with me, Ackerman, and I'll see what I can do for you. I despise your pity. Oh, yeah! You have nothing that links me to this woman. I forgot that chick said, uh... 
What? Time of death, before approximately 2 a.m. Laundry, boot prints, tire tracks, laundry ledger, matchbook, victim's hand, bake. What? But the woman told me that the hobo was there. Victim last seen. Just driver Frank's really testifies to dropping to his near hobo camp. What the fuck? But the old lady said so. So did I see doubt? Because it's not... It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. Well, if I say doubt, I get it wrong. I'll be pissed. You have an alibi? All right, thank you. Someone rely. Someone who will be around on the day of the trial. Fuck your trial. The capitalist system needs another victim from amongst the masses. So be it. So be it. Stuart Ackerman. I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. Wow. I didn't even get to pick. It just chose. Bam. Well, guys, we found it. We did it. A man down on his luck I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, the white shoe slaying. Yeah, all this money damage, like, it was good until, like, halfway through where I just, like, wrecked shit everywhere. Uh, the Tarletons might have justice if Stuart Ackerman is pronounced fit to stand trial. So, guys, three stars. Case closed. Alright, let's see if there's any more videos. If not, I have to end her here. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, what up? What's he doing? Oh, they're good friends now. And now my heart's a blazing ruin. You say that you were. Ah! Alright. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it as always. Uh, if you like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, and uh, like any other YouTuber would say. And uh, of course, stay frosty. And uh, yeah, peace out, guys. Again, like I said, thanks for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Peace out.